Sightings of a large flying humanoid continue to come in from Chicago, with two new reports received since our last recording. In the wake of these sightings and a closer examination of those we've already received, a new theory has emerged. Sandhill cranes begin migrating to their northern breeding grounds around April every year, and the path for those that winter in Florida directly crosses over Lake Michigan and Chicago. The flying humanoid sightings began in late March, and have all occurred within just a few miles of Lake Michigan and the enormous bird's flight path. Sandhill cranes can stand four feet tall and have wingspans of up to seven feet. That's roughly the same size as the creature in many of the reports, and it's notoriously difficult to judge the size of an object in flight. Not to mention that many of the sightings have taken place in and around parks, along riverways or over Lake Michigan, all likely places for crane to be seen. At least two separate witnesses, too, have compared what they've seen to a giant bird. So, while we freely admit that Sandhill Cranes may not explain every reported sighting of a flying humanoid in Chicago, it does seem likely that at least a few of them can be blamed on the massive migrating birds. But flying humanoids in Chicago aren't the only interesting thing happening overhead. For decades now, humans have been using satellites for all sorts of purposes. From communication to GPS, observation and military warfare, satellites and their technology have been essential to the way our civilization operates in these modern times. On June the 17th, 2017, a Luxembourg-based communication satellite that provided broadcast service over the US and Mexico lost all communication with its host operators without any warning. During attempts to reconnect with the orbital craft, the operators watched as it slowly broke apart in our atmosphere. As we watch this clip, you can see how the satellite, an AMC-9 in the middle of the screen, is following its trajectory as per normal, when it is quickly joined and surpassed by three flying objects that appear to be travelling in a formation. These were quickly identified as being geosynchronous satellites with a lower orbiting trajectory that would make them appear to be travelling faster than our own AMC-9. It was at this point that the AMC-9's functionality began to unravel. Communications between the satellite and its operators came to a sudden halt. You can see from the bottom left that a fourth and fifth object, also seemingly satellites, enter the screen and quickly approach the AMC-9. Large flashes begin to come from our satellite as it is overtaken by the tailing objects. By the time they are exiting the frame, the AMC-9 begins to break apart and emit debris. Our research team agrees that this is most likely a satellite that was taken out either by internal malfunction or external bad luck, for example collision with orbital space debris. But there are a few more interesting theories that are orbiting the internet at the moment. Could this have been some sort of agency conducting an experiment? Weaponized satellites are quickly becoming the way of the future when it comes to world militaries maintaining their sovereignty. Perhaps this was a new weapon being used as a sort of test, either authorized or unauthorized, if this is the truth, then the world just got a little scarier, and with recent changes to international space treaties, this may not be as far-fetched as it sounds. What isn't a secret is that there is an almost endless amount of space junk orbiting our planet. Since the 3rd of October 1942, when mankind launched the V2 rocket, which became the first man-made object in space, we've been leaving a plethora of debris in orbit because it is simply easier for us to leave them up there than it is to deal with them. Perhaps the most likely explanation is that a freak accident occurred with the AMC-9 simply striking a piece of debris, and that was that. At the speed satellites travel to maintain orbit, even the smallest piece of debris could have had an absolutely devastating impact. And of course, we wouldn't be restricted access if we didn't at least give a cursory mention to what is the most exciting and terrifying of possibilities. Could what we have witnessed in the video be due to visitors from a planet beyond our own? And while our team is all but ruling that out in this particular case, it is a fun and terrifying idea. Perhaps we're not the only ones conducting tests in our little neighbourhood of the Milky Way. With the video quality being what it is and details we have, we're concluding that nothing exceptionally out of the ordinary is going on here. Nothing more than a system malfunction, an unfortunate collision or a combination of the two. It is interesting to note, however, the flashes that begin to pulsate from the craft just before it begins to break apart. Our team found it to be rather peculiar that the flashes began to become more intense as the other objects passed by. This could have been from the way the AMC-9 was reflecting light as it passed over that particular location at its angle, or it could have been due to the fact that after a collision, the satellite began to tumble in its orbit, and what we're seeing is the reflection of light from tumbling. Or perhaps, 
just perhaps. What we're seeing is small explosions from a weaponized projectile. It is truly hard to say from the video we have. This was nonetheless an intriguing case that travelled its way onto our radar screens.